Hey guys, I know I haven't done a nursing related video in a while now, but I figured it's the new year's 2018. Why don't I update you guys on my experience in the operating room, how I'm doing as a new nurse. Um, it's been give or take like almost like what 10 months now it's almost a year uh, in April it will be a uh, one full year in the OR and actually uh, my three-year anniversary as a nurse as a registered nurse is gonna be um, in the beginning of February so I'm very excited for that um, but anyway I've been off orientation for a little over a month now um, I got off like the last week of November so how has it been being off orientation, what will you expect once you come off orientation if you're in the um, OR and you're training? So it's very different. It's cool because you get to do whatever you want to do, basically. Like you get to run the show the way you want to, whether you're scrubbed or you're circulating. It's your setup now, um, unless you're like giving breaks and stuff, which is actually primarily my um, job, like in the morning. I'll, I'll basically run through like what I do on my shift but um, for the most part like you're very independent like you're doing your own thing and you don't need someone to be telling you what to do anymore uh, which is a great thing and I, I feel I feel like a lot better honestly I feel like I'm doing a lot better now that I'm on my own you realize that a lot of people are like picking up the crumbs for you when you're on orientation even though like let's say the last couple weeks you're supposedly independent supposedly you're doing mostly everything yourself people are still picking up the crumbs for you so like it's it's so much better to see where you're at once you're off because then you're able to like fix things you're able to work faster and um, I think you're you're able to grow more once you're off orientation so the sooner you can get off honestly I think it's better it's better but of course like there's always a way of learning there's always um, things you can do um, things new experiences uh, new cases that you haven't been in always challenge yourself I'm the type of person that I want to be in the hardest kind of cases I want to be in those ca cases that make me struggle make me um, challenged um, you know I'm I'm very thankful to be part of the neuro team so um, even though those nurse surgeries can be very stressful high intensity uh, a lot of trays a lot of things to do um, I like that I challenge myself because that means like when I'm in another kind of case it's just so much more simple for me um, I get relieved I, I get relieved when I um, go into like um, you know, your basic laparoscopic cases. Uh, I feel like, oh wait, this is like this is like a walk in the park now because I'm so used to so many trays, I'm so used to so many instruments. It's just, it makes everything better. I think uh, it helps me grow as an operating room nurse. Um, that's why I love those kind of cases. It challenges me. So I'm always down for something new. I'm always down for like those big cases where I know maybe close to nothing but I could just use whatever knowledge base that I have as my foundation and work off of that. So um, yeah, that, so basically like for my shift, uh, let me run through what I do. So I'm 10 to 8, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So first I'll like relieve the seven o'clock people, give them a 15 minute break. And then um, later on I'll relieve that, maybe that same room or a different room for lunch, um, both the scrub and the circulator. So I get to play both roles, like guaranteed almost every day, you're guaranteed to play both the scrub and circulator role, which is what I love about this um, shift that I do. Um, the thing is you're usually thrown into certain cases like, when you're a seven o'clock person, you're most likely going to be in the same kind of service for the whole entire day, which is a good thing. You can, you know, become a master of that service. But I like being a jack of all trades, even though the trade-off is being a master of none. I mean, um, yeah, I'm like thrown into mostly neurosurgery, but there's a lot of times where they'll just throw me into anything: GYN, plastics, general, you name it, colorectal, whatever. But I'd rather know a little bit out of each service than just to be a master of one thing and not know anything else about anything else. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know what I, what I just said, but I just like to be as knowledgeable as I can. I hate the feeling, whether you're on the floor, whether you're in the OR, whether you're in the ER, I hate the feeling of not knowing. Like, I, I don't want to be that guy in the room that doesn't know what he's doing. Um, so even if it's uh, any kind of case that I haven't done, like I still like want to be able to 
use whatever knowledge I have. So the more that I'm exposed to, the more that I challenge myself, I feel like that just betters me as a nurse. Um, makes me more versatile that no matter in what situation they throw me in, it doesn't, I, I don't care. Throw me into whatever you want to throw me in. It's fine. Um, I, I'm like so open to like all those kind of cases and it's, it's to me it's more exciting I like the adrenaline rush uh, I like being able to work on my toes and um, sometimes I kind of like the intensity of being yelled at if I don't know what I'm doing because it makes me want to be better for next time it makes me want to uh, not be yelled at the, you know like I, it just makes me want to be a better nurse uh, I hope I'm not repeating myself too much but anyway I'm very excited for the OR uh, there's a lot of um, room to grow here. Uh, my my plan for right now is to be uh, certified. So um, I'm almost nearing my one year mark. So another year after that, for two years, you can get the CNOR. So I'm probably going to do that. And then after that, uh, we'll see about being an RNFA, maybe a registered nurse first assist. And maybe I'll do a separate video on that and like what that entails, what the responsibilities are, and the potential for me to get into that. Uh, program that'd be great you know in the future but um anyway guys i'm loving the or um, please comment below let me know uh what you'd like to know more uh what kind of videos you want to see from me uh, i'll try to do more update videos i'll try to do more videos on um certain you know other other kinds of nursing too i, I actually um got hired today reason why i'm dressed real nice uh, it's my day off from the or but i actually got hired to a part-time school nursing gig so i'm very very excited for that so that's another field of nursing and that's another kind of uh you know that's community nursing it's it's like assessments and all that stuff but that's a that's a subject for another video and i'm very excited hopefully i could do like a school nursing related video once i get my my dip my toes in the water once once i start working there but anyway guys it's very exciting i love love being a nurse i love my job and uh, I hope you guys too, you know, this is definitely like something that you need to be called to do. You feel, you have to feel like you want to do this, you know. It, it would suck if you're in the OR or any kind of nursing and you just hate your job. So um, I, I challenge you guys to do what you love, but at the same time do something that makes you uncomfortable. It's a hard balance to find, but you want to grow you don't want to just stay stagnant you don't want to just like stop learning always learn always better yourself always do you know what you can like just to the best of your abilities and uh the possibilities are endless guys so uh thank you guys for listening um i can't wait to do another video for you guys just let me know what you want to see and i'll try to do it and uh be more frequent with my videos i know it's been a while and you guys have been asking but here you guys go thank you guys for the subscribers we passed a thousand subscribers that's really fun and cool so uh until next time guys embrace express and enjoy yourself